Hello guys and welcome to a VPN Stain update and this time we've got volume 3 uh, Honestly I've made some interesting changes into this VPN and I'm pretty sure that most of you are gonna be happy about it because from now on you will not VPN Stain will not go down and I won't have to update it every two days you will have you will have to update it by yourself and I will show you how to do that but first, and by the way, you guys, I am putting a portable version of VPN Stain. If you want to use it like straight up, it's here. You can just uh, download it and extract it. Or still, you can still use EOE2 tools. Just run EOE2 tools, update, and uh, run uh, VPN Stain. Now, in this version of VPN Stain, I am tackling the issue with that some guys of some some guys have reported like diagnose your network. I think the the reason for for this bug that diagnose your network is because some of the countries ban uh, Dropbox, and in this version we can uh, create custom VPN by ourselves. We won't need Dropbox to uh, you, you know pass the the account, the 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 IPs of, of VPN. All right, now easy peasy. What I'm gonna what I'm gonna be showing you is how to create a custom. So you run VPN stay from here or from EOT tools, from whatever you want, and you will want to uh, create custom, and then you press VPN here, and we go back. We press mail, right? Now I'm gonna put this link in the description as well you select Europe 2 and click go go to the thumb mail site which we have clicked right, right there and we will set up we will set up an account make sure you select thumb mail because sometimes it doesn't work with the other ones but yeah you, you just want to do that any name it doesn't matter it doesn't matter create a temporary mail that, that's what we're gonna do we're gonna create a temporary mail we copy this we create a new account paste the mail here and enter the captcha okay go now we're gonna go here but uh, please be careful please be careful in this step look what I'm gonna do I will paste do not click this this link if you click it you will mess everything up. You, you will have to do everything from scratch, okay? <laughs> we're gonna copy this link, okay? And we're gonna go back to the proxy site, which is which I forgot to mention it. I will provide it in the description as well. So we're gonna paste the link from here to here. And we press go. There you go. Now, you, you guys are ready. We're gonna log in first. Once we're logged in, as you can see, we have period d'essai, which means trial version, and it will expire in two days. So in two days, you need to create a new account. So now what we're going to do, our, our task is, is done here. We're going to copy the username, which is utilizateur, and we paste it here, and we're going to copy the password. We put it here and connect. So this is how uh, we create a custom VPN. It didn't take more than uh, two, minutes, two minutes, right? And even if you close, if we close VPN stain and we open it, it will remember this. It will remember the, the username and the password. So let's say you want to play tomorrow or, or in the afternoon, you can just uh, fire up VPN stain and make sure to enable this. Because if you don't enable, it, it won't work. You will have to enable, then, cl then click here. Click uh, turn on. One of the advantages of creating a custom VPN, guys, is uh, the interruption are, are gonna be are going to be less. Are going to be less. Because before, what what VPN stand was about? It was about a single account shared with many users. And that could sometimes trigger a drop. 
but now if we uh, use it alone if you use this account for yourself 99% you will not drop I'm sure 99% you will not drop so that's uh, all about it guys that's it all right so I think that wraps up everything and if you got some questions just make sure to uh, join our discord which is uh, here and post in the issue section and I will take a look at it all right guys I hope this was uh, useful as usual and uh, have a nice day